morning and welcome back. Today we talk about the fast shooting Nox developed by Charlie Greenberg, the running archer. I put a link in the description where he introduces his Nox. So he designed them for his way of shooting. And what he does, because they are 3D printed, he is selling on his website the file for it so you can download them. They are the printing file, it's 19 euros or 20 euros and then you can 3D print them. And in this last video, he even explains which material you should use and what is necessary because they come all on this tray of the 3D printer. And then you need to remove all this stuff and you need to send down the front part that you can get it in your shafts. Let's see first how much they weigh. So of course it depends a little on which material you use for printing. The ones I got from Charlie are 32 grain compared to the normal Kochnok, which is 20, and compared to my most favorite U, oops, Unok, which is 18. The back part, so from the end of the shaft, is already a little longer, and what is interesting to see that the stem, the, the insert part, is quite long, so, but, gives you durability, I guess it's not a big thing. Then you see Kochnox, oops, then you see the Kochnox have this flat part here and he made here this flat part and then a nice open V-shape to knock quickly and then even the knock is nice rounded here so the string runs nice. That's nice made compared to a U-knock. Oops, U-knock has almost the same length, see, it's almost a similar shape up there. But of course you don't have this extremely flat part. You have a slight indexing on the Unox, but not very pronounced. And then again, stem is of course a little longer than the others. So how will they fit? So I sanded them down quite a bit and made them nice and smooth. These are normal shafts. So and he said they should go in, not too easy, not too hard. So you don't want to break your shaft, obviously, when you leave them too thick. When you send them down too much, then there is not much you can do. But in this case, I just made it right. And they look really good. I like. See the next one? Of course, they are not all individually sanded, so one can fit better. One can fit worse. This one doesn't fit that much. Take another one. No, this one doesn't fit either. Uh-oh. See, I need to work. This one works nice. See? So he sent me, I think, 20 or something, but I only prepared six because he's, the sending down is quite time consuming. So this one is a little tight. I would not use it. Let's hope for the last one. Yep, this one works nice. Look, just nice. And then, oh, so they don't come off easy, but they have a firm, solid hold in the shaft. Hmm. Now, of course, these knocks are made by Charlie Greenberg for his way of shooting. So he holds the arrows here and he simply grabs an arrow, knocks the arrow and shoots with kind of Slavic release. And that works just nice. Okay. Have the arrow here on your bow hand. You grab the arrow and you feel directly the orientation. Bring it back, push it forward, backwards, zack. Easy peasy. Oh, I shot no thumb release. <laughs> because. Wait a second, let's do it again. Ah, yeah, 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 I'm such a. Hmm. So, grab it, slide it a little forward, back, and directly. Slavic. Oh, works quite nice. What you could use them for if you have a back quiver like this Russian technique, this dagger technique, that you grab the arrow from your back quiver load it here and then you can shoot either directly the this you know this reversed mediterranean draw or the knock is a little wide for the string or you turn around and then shoot mediterranean like this so that's fine regular kashai style would say for horse archers grab an arrow easy peasy that's nice so they are nice and big you feel them in the hand you feel the orientation and then it's simply a matter how you knock works nice. First try in this way of shooting. Mm, works too. 
needs a bit maybe no nice so you know you hold your arrows up there and then you roll one down you can line them up you still feel the the the, the indexing here and you simply knock load oops knocking point and shoot works nice too how would this be where you hold in between index and middle then you put them back for thumb release almost look not bad huh. didn't expect that they work for this so nice you know we have them here and then you whoosh, roll them and you always feel you, you really can get a nice hold on it so whatever technique you shoot they work nice how would they do in my way of shooting easy so you directly feel the orientation easy peasy lemon squeezy look at this nice so they are really you get instantly the orientation and as long as your shooting style is that uh, i'll show you as long as your shooting style requires that the indexing is in line with the uh, knock not the other way around these ones do really for every purpose their job you see no matter where you get them from a second maybe see it from here better no matter where you get them from you line them up and you have this indexing and then simply a matter of how you load your arrows only the string is a little too thin this way around you bring it here you go all the way back knock shoot thumb works too so whatever you shoot whatever style they work really really nice so now let's see if it's running and shooting would work you know like we had once this test walking and shooting works nice works pretty pretty well impressed the Nox from Charlie Greenberg the running archer 20 euros for the template and then you can print them and depends which material you use of course you can get them then cheap or expensive depending on which printing material but these knocks are really good so no matter which style you shoot they really help you lining up here and but it depends a little on your shooting style but they are at least or for sure worth checking out so they really provide a good haptical feedback uh, and what they don't do what happened with me when i shoot the coach knocks and i put them deep here in my web i get pinched with these ones because of the twist i like this twist because it makes it easy for other ways of shooting but this ones i don't have this so you don't get pinched you really can load easy every arrow no problem so for if you want to do fast shooting the arrows in your hand here and you want to shoot then with thumb release these ones are better than the coach knocks and because you have more indexing they're even better than the unox so they're really worth checking out and the quality i mean the, the the print the design is pretty can't say anything only make sure that your string or the, the center serving has this, a good width that they almost knock the string of the snake bow is a little too thin but they work nice and 20 euros are really worth checking out that's all i have to say Thank you very much, Charlie, for sending these knocks to me. I'm happy with them. I will use them now a lot. I will prepare all the others too. And then I will do all these bit more fast shooting stuff with them. And I thank you everybody for watching and subscribing. I catch you in the next one.